Ever since I've been making videos, my sitting time while researching has gone higher and higher. And sometimes I end up hunching over and aching my back. It doesn't take much searching to know that sitting day in and day out is detrimental to one's health, predominantly from displacing physical activity. Imposing research also shows sitting too much decreases metabolism, increases blood pressure, negatively affects waist circumference, and increased triglyceride and blood sugar levels. Some findings suggest that even adding 150 minutes of exercise per week will not entirely rid these issues. So yes, prolonged sitting is definitely bad for you. But for some, like myself, sitting at a desk unfortunately spans most of our waking hours. Luckily, in recent years, alternatives have sprouted, one of which is the standing desk. The science behind it does support its use, to an extent. Biomechanically, standing more might be beneficial for alleviating back pain caused from sitting-induced chronic hip or lumbar flexion, which should be enticing enough for people to at least experiment with more standing. But outside of this, it's probably best to taper our expectations. For the most part, standing is better than sitting all day. A 2014 study did show a substantial 43% attenuation of blood glucose levels with standing versus sitting at the office desk after subjects had lunch. People standing were also burning roughly 50 more calories per hour. However, a 2016 study found only an 8 calorie increase. Maybe it's somewhere in between. Outside of blood glucose and weight management though, the research spreads a bit thin. Some indicate reduced risk of heart disease and death, but the research isn't very convincing. And the fact is, prolonged standing has its own issues too. The most prevalent is the development of varicose veins, the enlargement of veins in your legs and feet, making it more difficult to pump blood back to the heart. There's also reports of increased body discomfort, physical fatigue, and blood pressure. And just like sitting, it can cause lower back pain, but in a different biomechanical pattern. Too much activation of your glute medius, which also acts on your hips and back, was observed in people reporting back pain with jobs requiring prolonged standing. So if prolonged standing and prolonged sitting is bad for you, then what's the best alternative? Interestingly enough, the prevailing theory is to mix both together. The positions of sitting and standing per se aren't the problem, it's the fact that we do them for too long. By alternating between the two, we can limit the duration of both. And that's where sit-stand desks, or adjustable desks, can be the best option. First, there isn't any effective research on health markers with using sit-stand desks, so it remains to be seen if using one can improve things like blood pressure or heart disease. But for many other important life aspects, adjustable desk research is quite positive. A 2012 study noted that 87% of subjects using sit-stand desk instead of sitting felt more comfortable, 87% felt more energized, 75% felt quote healthier, 71% felt more focused, 66% felt more productive, 62% felt happier, and 33% felt less stressed. Echoing the sentiments of comfort, a 2014 review found six studies indicating reductions of perceived discomfort. Productivity is a mixed bag, but only in terms of studies showing either an increase in productivity or no change at all. And certainly, focus, happiness, and stress is widely subjective and can be different for you, but things do point toward the right direction. For myself, I have been fortunate to personally test out these claims, thanks to the company Autonomous for graciously sending me a sample of their smart desk to, to play with. And for the most part, I have noticed improvements in comfort, back pain, focus, and productivity. But I feel that at least some of it might be attributed to the novelty of using an adjustable desk. I'm unsure if I'll feel the same way a few months from now. And that can be said for most of the research as well, as none really tested long-term benefits. Also, the optimal ratio between sitting and standing remains to be seen. One study noted increased discomfort after an hour of standing at a desk, which aligns close to my own experience. But even with the ability to stand, I still felt the need to take breaks from the desk entirely. Frankly, I'm still staying in one position for long periods of time, and that can be tiring no matter if I stand or sit. Fact is, it won't replace the benefits of moving around, even as little as a walk break. 
And it certainly doesn't mean you can skip exercises just because you stood more than you sat for any given day. But if you currently spend a lot of time at the desk, whether for work or leisure, an adjustable desk can be beneficial for you. Ultimately, balance is still key. So sure, standing more and sitting less is great. But at the end of the day, you still need to get out there and move. Thanks again to Autonomous for sending me a desk to experience the benefits for myself. I definitely recommend you check out the Autonomous Smart Desk 2 if you're interested in an adjustable desk, if only for the fact that not only is the Smart Desk 2 pretty awesome quality, but their prices are lower than much of the competition today. Come check out some of their stuff in the description below. Other than that, as always, thank you for watching.